Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now today, you're going to be watching something very different to what I normally do. And I'm just going to assume that if you clicked on this video, then you know exactly what you're watching. But in case you somehow failed to read the caption or look at the thumbnail, then today, you're going to be watching a Don't Starve unboxing video. Now in this video, I'll be going over my personal views from the plush and outline whether or not it's worth purchasing. And I'll also be giving you a preview and analysis of both the plush and the in-game item it comes with. And I know, you probably just want to get straight into the video, but before I cut myself short, I'd just like to say thanks for watching this video. And if you do enjoy it, it would mean a lot to me if you liked or shared this video with your fellow Don't Stop friends. And now, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So guys, I'm just going to get started now by opening up the plush. And I'm honestly not that happy with the packaging. I was expecting something a lot more sophisticated for the price, like a box. But you know what, this would- Oh wait, no, I'm not going to complain at all, because like... I'll show you this now. This came in on like a little protective sleeve, which is going to protect it from bugs and all that. So that's really nice. And yeah, I'll just show you the item card now. So as you can see here, it's got the Don't Starve Together logo. And you can also see like a little backpack it came with. And you yeah, flip it over, it's got the Don't Starve Together logo. And it's also got this like scratch off barcode redemption thing. Honestly, I've got no idea what that's called. So if someone could tell me what that's called, I would appreciate that a lot. And yeah, I'm showing you the angles now, but uh, I don't really think that's important because it's in the little protective sleeve, but it doesn't matter. And I'll take that out now, so, yeah, where's the little thing? Okay, there's, okay, the same was at the back, that's really nice, it's pretty easy. And yeah, it's, you pull it out, it's, so yeah, it's really firm, and stereotypically with plush products, if they're firm, it means they're going to last a little longer, so that's really good. And yeah, I'll just show you some of the angles now. And in more detail, I'll go on these, like, I'll talk about everything in more detail in the next, like, analysis. And yeah, on top, you can see the little aesthetic band, which does say in the plush description that one would be supplied. And yeah, that's rather firm too, it's really nice, feels, yeah, it feels good. And over here we have the tag, it's got a little picture of Glomma, and you've got like the back clay and 15 plus. And yeah, I love how it distinguishes the two, like it's got a little picture of Glomma rather than an actual item it came with, and that's just a really nice touch. And yeah, now I'm just going to go to the next part of the video, and I, yeah, I hope you enjoy. So, unfortunately the audio to this clip has been corrupted, and there's nothing I can really do about that. But nonetheless, I'll try and keep it as true to the original as possible. And in retrospect, this actually has been rather beneficial because honestly, things that have been previously unknown to me are now known and I can talk about things that are past tense rather than future tense, explaining what actually did happen because it actually has been one whole month, which is kind of surprising to myself as well. And I can just talk about how it actually did hold up. So I'm just going to pause the video now and I will be doing that a lot throughout this clip because I didn't really leave enough time for me to talk about things. But anyway, here we have the head of the plush. And I'm honestly really happy with how this was executed. Not only because it's true to in-game Glomma, but also just because it looks really nice. Now you might be wondering, what do I mean by true to in-game Glomma? Well, in-game Glomma has six eyes, and so does the plush produced. Now this little minor detail actually strengthens the bond between in-game Glomma and the plush produced, and I just like this correlation between the two. And on this topic, I just like to bring up the fact that they actually incorporated something so minor that I actually never noticed it in-game, and that's this little yellow ring around the eyes, which you can see. And this is just a really nice touch because it's actually a feature that's in-game. And I never noticed this before, as I said. And I love this because all the colors complement each other. And this little yellow ring around the eyes just makes the eyes pop so much more. And honestly, my main worry when I first did this recording was that the eyes might get damaged or chipped. And it's been one whole month and there's been no deterioration, no chipping, no damage to the head at all. And in regards to the whole plush, any negatives or any like damages at first, which I'll talk about later, they've actually self-corrected. So basically, one month from now, I can induce this plush, in my opinion, has literally no negatives. And that's a very strong statement, but I do believe this plush has no negatives. And I'm going to talk about this in more detail later on. But for now, I'm just going to continue to the next part of the video, and I hope you guys do enjoy. So as you probably guessed, we're going to be talking about the wings of the plush now. And I'm honestly really happy with how they were done because they do incorporate a unique feature, which is posability, and ultimately, this feature does add a whole new dimension to the plush. Now, the final feature of the wings I'd like to talk about is actually the material they used, because when I was looking at the plush online, I was rather worried how the material would hold up, but I can inform you one month from now, the material hasn't deteriorated, and in fact, one of my wings was slightly crinkled and damaged, and that in fact self-corrected over time, which was rather surprising to myself as well, and ultimately, the wings are just a really nice touch. I love the shape of them. They just add a whole other dimension to the plush, as I said before. And yeah, I just love the throwback to actual in-game Glomma and how they tried to keep to that theme. 
So right now, I'm just going to be dedicating a small portion of this video to visual imagery of the plush, and hopefully you guys can induce any further information you are seeking from this. And yeah, while you're looking at the plush, I really do want to talk about the main body, which, as you probably guessed, is the massive purple furble. So in-game Gloma actually has this large body piece, and yeah, I really do love how this was done because it actually does really represent how in-game Glomo looks, and it's just nice. So guys, right now we're going to be talking about the last detail of the plush, and that is the legs. So in my opinion, there's actually not that much to talk about in regards to the legs, but I'm just going to say they are really well done, there are 8 legs, and that is once again a correlation between in-game Gloma and the plush produced. And personally, my favourite feature of the legs is this hand-on stitching, which in my opinion, just adds a whole other level of authenticity to the design. And yeah, finally, here we have the tag of the plush, and that's just really nice. I love how it says, don't starve. And yeah, I really just love how Clay included this tag. Once again, it's really nice to have that throwback to don't starve together and in-game glomer. And yeah, it's just really nice. So guys, we are in fact drawing near the end of this video, and there isn't really much for me to say in regards to the aesthetics of the plush, but... There is still one thing we need to talk about, and that is whether or not you should buy this plush. And if so, when you should buy this plush. So, I in fact bought this plush during the Krampus sale. And for those of you who don't know, the Krampus sale is basically Clay's version of the Christmas sale. So, in particular, this usually entitles that the Glomer plush will be suffering from a 40% discount, hence making it more appealing to the buyer as it did to me. So, if you are in fact looking at buying this plush, I would highly recommend you buy it during the Krampus sale and rather not during its full price because the range in price is rather dramatic when a discount is applied. So you might be wondering when in fact the Krampus sale is. Now during 2018 the Krampus sale was from November 22nd to November 28th but it has been shown to vary from time to time but usually it takes place during late November or early December. So if you are in fact looking at buying this plush I highly recommend that you do wait as I said before. And with this in mind I would also like to bring on a personal view of the plush. So in my opinion, this plush is by far the best plush I have ever purchased online. And this statement actually means quite a lot to myself. And honestly, it's just because this plush, in my opinion, has no negatives. And yeah, for this reason, I do really highly recommend that you buy this plush. And yeah, I think it's just about time we move on to the next part of the video. So I've just topped in-game now. And while I'm redeeming the code, I'd just like to talk about three potential video ideas I have. And I'm going to put a poll in the top right-hand corner. And that's where you can vote for which ones you want. So I'm either going to do a Deer Cops um, plush unboxing or the Mandrake plush unboxing. So I'm going to do both of them because I want to get all three of the bags and do all that so I can compare all three. So as you probably guessed, the final video will be a summary of which skin I prefer and which plush I prefer. So yep, please put your opinion in the top right hand corner and yeah, I'll continue with the opening. And right now you can see the present, it's just a typical, you know, don't start to give a present. So there's the skin, it's a dark green rather than a lime green, so that distinguishes that it's a proof of purchase, not like a loyalty skin. And I'll just hop under the Fury cabinet now. And as you can see under belongings, just under here, and they're all new because it's on a new computer now, sorry about that, but not much I can do. There you go, the proof of purchase skin. So I've just topped in-game now to show you the skin. And I will be using an in-game mod now to show you the skin in closer proximity and hopefully you guys can get a better and cleaner look of the skin from this. So we have a side view here, back view, side view once more, front view, back view. And right now I'm just going to show you the skin in motion and hopefully you guys will gather a greater understanding of what the skin looks like. Okay, so right now I'm just going to close and open the backpack. But, in all honesty, there's not really much of a noticeable change, but anyway, just for the sake of it. And, in my opinion, there's not really much to talk about in regards to the skin, like, it is a nice skin, but then again, it's just nothing really too special, it's a backpack. And, in honesty, I do prefer some of the other skins that are already produced, like the little beefalo backpack and the spider backpack. But, once again, this is just my opinion. And, yeah, honestly, when I bought this plush, I wasn't really considering the item, in all honesty, I just thought it was a nice touch. And that's probably why my opinion is so, like, neglectful of it. But other than that, it's still, like, a really nice feature and a good way to show off to other people that you bought this plush. And, yeah, guys, with that final remark, that's it for today. And I really do hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. 
And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.